This is the cheapest Porsche we could find on the internet. We bought it, cut a hole in the bonnet because that wouldn't open, and then got it turning over. We have no idea when it last run. We have no idea when it was last on the road, at least 18 years ago. So today, we're going to see if we can get this old Porsche running, or if it's going to be a complete nightmare. Oh my God! Help me! Oh! Oh! Oh no. Oh. Oh, Come on. Come on. Now with the Golf, we just threw parts at it until it ran. Different idea on this one. We're gonna see how few parts we can fit to this car to make it actually run. I'm saying six parts. I'm gonna guess two. Three. One thing we should do actually, we had to cut our way into this access point. That one was open. Doesn't work. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't open, work. doesn't open. So two out of our four are glocked. Are you just wiggling that thing silly style? <gasps> okay, all right, well Access fine. Access point three oh, is oh, open. Do you know what, I'm glad I don't have to get in this as well because cool. with the Golf, it was cigarette ash. With this, it's rats. <laughs> it's rats <laughs> everywhere. This absolutely reeks in here. I don't want to be in here. It's like being a reef aquarium. <laughs> What's this one's name? He said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. And we're open. Hello there. Hello, hello you. Hello you. Uh, drop it on three. <laughs> what are the pockets saying? Whoa, they are mint. Can they you put your it. things in there? Yeah, you can put some stuff in the That's pockets. That's why they're called pockets. Access granted to all parts of the car. We got it up in the air and made a worrying discovery. Let's do a quick check. Give her a spin. No, absolutely nothing. Jack, which wheel is that? The rear right. A rear right brake caliper. A rear right brake caliper. A rear right brake caliper. And a rear right brake caliper. <laughs> Ethan and Ben have made a nice little diorama uh, for our new set. That's all the rear right golf calipers that Edwin went through. Hopefully we're gonna add to that collection. Should we have a look underneath this, Edwin? Let's have a look under here. Wow, she's actually pretty clear. It's all right. Uh, Ethan, how familiar are you with uh, torsion bar rear suspension? From what year? Uh, I, this is an 81. 81, uh, uh, I'm sort of 85 onwards. Oh, 85 yeah, onwards, okay. Yeah. So more like Citroen Saxo exactly. 106. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Sorry, Do you I think you go. could try maybe on there? I wouldn't want to risk it. You wouldn't want to risk I it? I don't want to risk my reputation on Torsion. Sorry, I'd love to help, I'd love to help. Ethan unable to lend his expertise, we installed the very first new part. I'm going to pull this old battery out. <gasps> Are you about to turn the first bolt on this car? The first bolt. It'll be the first. It will not be the last. What brand was this? I want to know. Power Start. Wow. Now that is an old battery. Also, these are chronic for rutting, rusting out under the battery. So they are. Check let's have a look. Should we check it out? It's fine. Is it actually? No idea. Wait, 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 wait. No, I want to see. But guess what? New battery's in, so there's no need to check. That. Lift it up. Lift it up, please. Jack, please. What you can't see can't hurt you. It can. There's enough rust on this car already. We don't need to worry about any more. Oh, it's oh. going. <gasps> He's done it. God, we are so easily pleased, aren't we? Put this on the dyno, see how much power this has lost. <laughs> Probably more power than the engine. <laughs> yeah. Now with the reliable power source, our first port of call was to see if the fuel pump had any life in it. This fuel pump is dead. Fuel pump out, but Ethan? That's right, there's two fuel pumps. There is an external fuel pump and an in-tank fuel pump. Now we only actually need the external pump. Most 924 owners delete the in-tank pump because you don't need it. We're gonna get rid of that because right now that is blocking most of our fine jus from leaving. Oh my God, it's burning me. I can feel this stuff eating my flesh. Oh, we're close. We're... Oh my God, help me. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Let go, just let go, let go, let go. Can I go and have a bath? Yeah, we're on. That is incredible. That looks like me after a Monster Energy can. Oh, Edwin, this is our new painted floor. Listen, mistakes happen in the heat of passion. Yeah, there we go. Is it in oh. tank? That's a nice bit of sun-dried tomato, that is. There's our filter. Oh my God. That's getting your money's worth, isn't it? <laughs> the aim here is to just wash through all of that crap. Very nice. So look, you see how it, the color is yellow currently? We're hoping for that to start going a little bit more clear, a little more, more petroleum. It looks yeah, like it is already starting to go a little it's bit more clear. Out. Look at that, beautiful, clear waterfall. Fuel tank as clean as we could temporarily get it. We moved on to checking for spark. Yeah, spark, spark. It's weak as shit. Hey, much like me, but that won't stop me from fighting. After confirming that we had a spark, Jack and Edwin did some preventative maintenance. We're probably getting ahead of ourselves, but preemptively we're changing the cam belt. These cam belts are made out of liquid cheese, so <laughs> they... Are they really? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really weird manufacturing yeah, yeah, yeah. techniques. Yeah, yeah. In the 80s. It's a Porsche thing. Yeah. yeah. So 
they will snap when they're like 10 years old and this is probably at least 20 years old. I bet you we take this off and it's been just freshly changed. Like you changed it last week just before you picked it up. Oh, oh, that has achieved one with the elements. That looks like it's been in the ground. Hmm, yeah, no, I think that needs, that needs changing. It's not fraying, it's not cracking. So it's fine, so it'll go again. So let's just go again, why not? Should we save ourselves a job? Yeah. No. A cam belt is cheaper than a new engine. Wise words to live by. All right, cam belt off. Cam belt and tension are done for precaution. Jack realized that we already had forced induction. Oh, what's excited you? That is supercharged power, sorry, turbo. Oh, you got the double snails. Still alive as well, I'm gonna put them outside. There's another one, what? it's twin turbo. Should we save him? Yeah, let's let's save him. Turbos removed, a very special box arrived to replace them. Delivery. We've got a printer. <gasps> I know what that is. Oh shit. What's that? That is an Eaton M45 supercharger from a Mini Cooper S. What? You've just jumped 10 steps ahead. I ordered the supercharger kit as well from Romania. It's on its way. We don't know if the car runs. Don't worry about it. It'll run. Well, it has to run now. After revoking Edwin's permission to use the company card, we cleared out the fuel lines, which went well. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not air. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's not air. That's tar from the uh, from inside the lines. I mean, if it's on your hands, that means it's not going into our engine. So it's a plus. Okay, All right, I'll take that. Do we need to do more of this? We're gonna need to do quite a bit more than that. Yeah, I think that was something. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Ah! Yeah. Okay, stop. <coughs> it's not bad, bad for you. It's just like it's helpful if you don't breathe that in. Brilliant. Job done. One of the jobs done. One of the jobs done. Without Jack even being here. So now we're going to take the injectors out because we need to put them in the ultrasonic cleaner. So does this count as changing things before we start it? No, same part. Just cleaning. Just cleaning. Henry the Hoover's not a part. No. Unless we take Henry the Hoover to the intake and then we've got a DIY supercharger. Much easier. Is Henry a Hoover or a vacuum cleaner? It's too early for philosophical questions like this. Jack then arrived with a fresh fuel line. Hello, Hello you. you. Hello. Missing piece of the puzzle. He handed it to me and I was like, is this the right piece? Uh, does it look like ours? But ours is so mangled and mashed. There's no way of telling yeah, it. There's no way of knowing if it's right, but I think I'm pretty I'm sure it'll, it is. It'll be fine. Do you know what's interesting, yeah? So the guy who, this was from Design, Design 911, he was saying he's really surprised because at the minute there's loads of people doing 924s. Really? That's good news though, isn't it? The 924s yeah, are... Yeah, people are back on these things. Yeah, cool. We're just in the injectors, Jack, so if you want to grab us a coffee, that'd be good. Okay, yeah. You guys actually make loads of progress when I'm not here. Yeah. A singular injector removed. It's all right, okay, I'll just get back to work, what shall I? Cheers for that. Ooh, that's oh. your head, that's your head. Are you okay? Yeah, oh. all right. Listen, the upside is that the injector came out. Oh. The upside is the injector came out. Hey, there you go. I think you should have a go, Ethan. Uh, I think you should have a go. Here we go, sports fans. It's Here coming. we go, it's, it's looking coming. good. Don't shit yourself. Oh, I don't think I can. No, you've got it. You, you just need to remember to breathe. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Definitely Come the on, heart and one soul. big push, one big push, Can you lose? Do squeeze, it. Do it. Do squeeze. It. Oh, tag in. Here we go, he's coming in big. Oh, oh I think you weakened that up. That was on the verge. With our heads bruised, we dropped the injectors in an ultrasonic cleaner and then finished up clearing out the fuel injector lines of the old varnished fuel. We'll just uh, look at the airbox while we're waiting for our injectors to clean. Wow. She's all right. Actually, not too bad. 9506. That's 27 years old. Yep. That's um, oil sat on the bottom edge. You're going to get that, though. You are going to get that on these big jobs. We then fitted new part number two, a working fuel pump. Shall I put some fuel in it and we'll see if the pump's going? There we go. Okay, so we've established that there's now fuel at the fuel pump. Our fuel relay works. We've cleaned out this line, but to double check, we're gonna turn it over again now, see if fuel gets to here. And we're just gonna work our way down and see if fuel gets to everywhere. If it gets to everywhere, they can start. Yep. That gushes. It's a good amount, it's a good amount. Four fresh injectors. Excellent. So we'll use the airline to double check that we are still blowing through, but we should be. 
Lovely. Do you want to throw those injectors in and I'll change this fuel filter? Yes, sir. Uh, then we're ready to find out that this engine's absolutely <laughs> Is that tight? That's tight, tight, it's tight, Ethan. Okay, so parts we've done. Fuel filter, fuel pump, cam belt, Not tensioner. Okay, two. Oh, battery. And a battery, that's three. three. It's Ethan. Do you want to put some water in it? Because I don't think we have anything in there. We have nothing. Do you mind if I do the honors? I think you should do the honors. It's, it's you and Ethan's car. You ready? Well, I'm ready. Okay, fine. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, I think we're losing juice. We're losing juice. We're yeah. losing battery. We'll get the jumper and we'll double pump it. All right, a little bit of extra juice. Let's see what it's saying this time. <laughs> Come on! So, quick sit rep. It's basically, the way a cage it works is that it has this disc that pulls down and lets more air in, which tells the car to give more fuel. However, the plunger is stuck up right now. Yes. So it's giving it about three quarters of the full fuel it needs, but with basically no air. So it's flooding the engine with fuel right now. I think the best move is um, we tag you in. <laughs> uh, should we get coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, already? No. So basically it's stuck giving too much fuel to the, to the car, which means it can't start yeah. at its right air fuel ratio. Oh, look at that. Like the day it rolled out the factory. Oh, now it's going to run min. Right, Carl has rebuilt the head, not the entire head, the head of the fuel uh, <laughs> supply. So we're going to go for another go. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think we're... We need more battery, don't we? Is that your volt slow? Yeah. We have a proper jumper on this now. Please do it. It's turning over quicker. If you start, we will supercharge you. That starter is yeah, I think so it's... tight. You can hear how slowly it's turning over. We've got a brand new battery. We've got quite a chunky jump starter, and yet it can't even get it to turn over for longer than five or 10 seconds. So we think that the starter is so gummed up from just having sap so long, it's got so much crud in it, that it just can't turn over quick enough to actually jump it into life. This bastard was sucking the life out of our car, essentially. That was a brand new battery, and it took maybe four or five cranks for it to kill that battery. I'm amazed the wiring didn't catch fire to be completely <laughs> yeah, <up. laughs> Hey, give it time. The day is young. <laughs> in it goes. With a new starter adding a fourth part to the tally, we found something quite worrying. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh dear me. If I'm honest, I prefer my alternator wires rare. It looks like someone's been in there already. Oh, it's <laughs> right -oh. To quote Scooby-Doo, this 924 wiring harness is really badly melted. <laughs> my prediction, we're driving this around the yard today, 4.30. And to hit that deadline, we bodged together a temporary harness, but not before a well-deserved break. Hello? Yes. 2.30. Yeah. Just enjoy a nice plate of chips, if you don't mind. Two hours, according to you, our Porsche is driving around the estate. Yeah. I'm on eBay, man. I'm not worried about anything. Man, I'm not worried about any of it. So what we're going to need to do first is work out where everything goes. What do you reckon? Have this run in a half hour? No, no, no. You said driving around the estate. Between the time <laughs> it takes this thing to run, all I've got to do is drop the lift and put it in gear. I'm going to do a f burnout off this ramp and show you what for. It does look like, Ethan, that um, we're going backwards, but we're in fact making great progress. 24 minutes and you're going to be driving this thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, it sounds nutty when you say it out loud, but uh, we all know that's what's going to be happening. What time is it? 20, 28. Oh, yeah, two minutes to do this. Yeah. Give us a new time. 4.50. 20 minutes? 22? No, let me finish tomorrow. We've pulled the old starter, put a new starter in, found that the old starter wiring was made out of... I'm pretty sure it was made out of burnt uh, chip ends. We've <laughs> repaired it as best we can. It's a temporary bodge so that we can get it running and see if it runs. <laughs> oh, that turns over so, so much, much better. better. Now we can start 
we'll mess taking with. a look at the reasons it might not be running. Yeah, <laughs> this is just the base level. This is us just getting to a point where we can work out why it doesn't start. Come on, I've got to be driving this around an hour ago. <laughs> we think maybe one of the reasons that this car got parked up is because someone went mad messing with the fuel settings and just couldn't get it back. Yeah. Whiz in the mix just grew around with an Allen key on a drill yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we have to reset the whole fuel system. Which is really easy to do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Does that smell like a spark plug? It's wetting the plugs up still a little bit. Yeah. Thinking we were missing something, we triple checked everything before making a startling realisation. The engine was somehow flooding. We pulled all four injectors out, dried the spark plugs and turned the car over again, only to find that the plugs were still wet with fuel. The way that the K-Jet works is that it's mechanical fuel injection, but it has a fifth injector on a four cylinder that electronically sprays fuel in to help it start when it's cold. So we're under the suspicion that the fifth injector was flooding the engine. So we've unplugged the fifth injector. Yeah. If this doesn't show something, no, I, I don't know. I, like, I don't know I've, what to do. I've got the number for the scrap man in my phone ready to roll. Not so. like this. <laughs> it's not for me. My hands are off. <laughs> Ignition's off. Uh oh, uh, key's out, okay. The key was out and it was running. With the key out? Yeah. Well, that's a whole separate problem, let's not worry about that. <laughs> that's a healthy sounding motor. Oh. That sounds like a Model T. God, that sounds absolutely atrocious. <laughs> That's, that's better, better than it was before. That's three cylinders instead of two. It's the pulley oh, rubbing on the bracket. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, uh, hold on. Okay. After tightening our alternator, which had loosened itself and was grinding on the supporting bracket, we went for another try, which didn't go exactly how we were expecting. Oh, hello. Give her a so minute. Timing. We're coming, we're back on forum for a second. Yes! <laughs> Killing it? Kill it, yeah. Oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on then, die. There's nothing for it to be running on. Wow, that is a self-sustaining car. What's that has running? no ground. What's it running We have on? no ground. There we go. This, this thing is terrifying. That, this car's cursed. That just ran with no ground. What the <laughs> f***? That doesn't make any sense. I think Moss is Christine's brother. It was running with no battery connected. Yeah. No battery. Ha um, hmm. Someone made a mess of the wire alternator wiring. Could the alternator wiring, could it be self-sufficient off of the alternator? Interesting. Yeah, wow. so that's I bet that's it. That's a really good point. Well, we really? assumed what the last guy had done was correct, was but correct, it, it could, be, could be completely wrong. So to test our theory, we're going to disconnect the alternator wiring while the car was running and see if we could then turn it off. Now turn it off. Yeah. Beautiful, that worked. So it's our alternator wiring. Yeah. On a much more positive note, we found the gearbox was working flawlessly. Second. Reverse. Oh Let's boy! Go. <laughs> we need to go for a quick drive. Okay, should take the bonnet off. Then we can see the flames when they start. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's get this thing in the bin. Hello. Oh, that's cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, my mate needs to come with us. Hold on. Your mate? That is a very smart idea. Remember, you've got no brakes. Yeah. I, I do. You're good, the front you're good. Brakes, the front brakes are on like yes. so ferocious. Yes. It's, it's going. It's outside <laughs> again. Here we go. There was only one thing left to do. Check in with Ethan, who was away on holiday. Hi, Ethan Smale. Uh, hope you're well, mate. Just wanted to let you know that we're just driving our Porsche 924 around, mate. Uh, you promised that's not our vehicle. 
I promise you that's our Porsche 924. You can't mistake it because it's a piece of shit. Yeah, it could be on fire at any point. Look, look at the moss in the corner there. That's how you know it's ours. Anyway, see you soon. Oh, unreal, unreal the end. It's really not happy about living. 20 years. Man, this car stuff's easy. No, it isn't. This thing is running it's... like absolute dog egg. <laughs> I can see the engine jumping about so bad Don't as well. I think the mounts it. are absolutely shot. Four, four parts, a battery, a fuel pump, a fuel filter. That's a chronic What is that knocking? knocking? Oh my, it runs, but like I said, it's not happy about it you whatsoever. You can hear that. Can you what hear that, that, guys? It That's... sounds like there's a drive shaft loose or something. Do you know what? I've actually been losing sleep over this. Looks like you've been losing first gear as well. I have been. Oh, was that a little, was that a little skid? Are you silly, bro? I'm still gonna send it. I think we take this to Porsche specialist, see what they think, get yeah. their expert opinion. Yeah. And then maybe we take it to Mike for a pre-MOT test. And yeah. then we can find out what this car needs. And then not do any of it and supercharge it. Oh, man, I like Excellent. your thinking, yeah, I like yeah. your thinking. If you like the idea of that as well, then you can subscribe by clicking here and you can watch more videos oh, down yeah. there. Do a pull, man, do a pull, go on. Yeah? Oh, yeah, go on. Oh, listen to it. <laughs>